Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna talk about my progress so far in Launch School's JavaScript track. Now, if you're not familiar with this course, it's part of Launch School's two core curriculums that they have, one in the programming language Ruby and one in the programming language JavaScript. As many of you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I started their JavaScript track, I guess in late November or early December. Basically what happened is there's a preliminary course that everyone has to go through, an introductory course, and then you take a quick assessment. Uh, basically, you let them know why you wanna take the course, and then you enroll in the course and you start the official curriculum. So for me, that took place right around Christmas, right around the new year, just getting started. And I enrolled in the curriculum and began this uh, first JavaScript course. Now, if you've looked at Launch School's curriculum at all, you know that they start with backend programming. So in this case, you're using Node.js, uh, which you'll eventually use along with a bunch of front end course material you learned to be able to build you know, full stack web apps, be a full stack developer. So in this case, the course started with all the this back end JavaScript and basically starts with a uh, curriculum section where you're reading through different lessons and learning different topics and then a exercises and problem section where you're going through and while you're learning these different topics you're putting them to the test by executing these small toy problems that then build up you know in complexity and length and so I've had a few takeaways so far during my time in the course right now it's been just about two months and overall I'm you know very motivated for the course but I've definitely had some unexpected things pop up and then, you know, both good and bad. So without further ado, let's get into this list. The first thing is the exercise portion of this course is taking longer than I expected. Now, there are a number of reasons for that, but probably the biggest one is that the problems about halfway through really pick up in their detail and complexity. Basically, I had to spend more time teaching myself certain concepts and filling knowledge gaps while I was going through these problems than I did during any of the introductory coursework. Now, of course, this is to be expected but you know, even surpassing my expectations in terms of the complexity of some of these problems. So they are taking longer than I expected. Just to give you an idea, in the update video that I did about three to four weeks ago, you know, I had just started some of these uh, practice problems for the first portion of this course. And I was about a quarter of the way through those practice problems. And I anticipated that I would be uh, at the point I am now, three fourths of the way through these practice problems in just a couple of weeks. Well, it turns out it took me more like four to five weeks to get as far as I had anticipated in those problems. So that's just a quick way of saying that these problems definitely take a long time. Make sure that you plan for them uh, and make sure that you're not trying, you know, you're not hitting any of these deadlines or giving yourself too strict of deadlines. You really wanna be able to learn these thoroughly. And that's the next part of this. Uh, in order to really learn these problems thoroughly, I had to do a lot of repeating the problems and you know, solving variations of problems and really taking time to read about the concepts I was learning in problems. It wasn't as if I was just able to you know go through look at any corrections I needed to make and then continue on you really have to take your time in order to get the most out of this course so again don't schedule yourself too strictly okay the next part is if you're working a full-time job or you have a lot of other things going on in your life this is definitely going to take a significant amount of energy so you can't just plan to have the amount of time that you need you know they talk about the minimum being about 10 hours a week absolute minimum and then they also mention that it's more realistic plan for 15 to 20 hours per week for this course. And I can tell you that even if you plan that amount of time or it easily fits in your schedule, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have enough energy to really complete this course and have it be a good experience for you. The last thing you want is to be dragging yourself through this course until you finally run out of steam and just can't complete any more of the less. You wanna make sure to pace yourself, not only in terms of your time and your scheduling, but in terms of your energy that you have available to complete this coursework. Okay, the next part is that you really need to make sure that you're ready to sacrifice something. So this goes along with the last part. You can't just ram this into your schedule and think that that is going to be enough to get you through the course. It's not enough for you to show up at your computer completely run down and barely able to even, you know, look at the screen while you're trying to work through these course problems. That's going to get you nowhere. You have to show up for each lesson really ready to learn and self administer this type of knowledge and really, really do things to uh, put yourself in the right environment to be able to learn this material. So for example, if you're coming home after work and you're dead tired and you're doing this right before 
before you sleep and you really have no motivation, you're probably not gonna take those extra steps to really thoroughly learn each concept and go through things over and over until you feel very confident in those concepts. So you wanna make sure that not only do you have enough time, but you're planning it in the right way so that you have the energy and that may take, you know, letting something else go for a period of time or just sacrificing some other part of your schedule. But you have to be ready to do that. So anyway, for my progress update, I'm about three fourths of the way through the practice problems and about three fourths of the way through the course material for the first course the introductory to backend programming and JavaScript uh, section of launch school. I feel like it's going really well. And I will tell you, I have had extra motivation to complete this course because I've been able to use some of what I'm learning in the course already in my work that I'm doing, you know, day to day. For me personally, that includes things for uh, web tracking. I do some work that involves web analytics and tracking things like keeping track of where users are going on an e-commerce website. And so that involves quite a bit of JavaScript in if anyone's familiar with this world, what's called a tag management system. So I have been able to implement some of what I'm learning in the course for some of that tag management. It's been really exciting and just a little extra boost of motivation while I'm working through this course. So in the next few weeks, what I would like to do is make these more frequent, these updates, because originally I had planned to do one weekly. Uh, that fell by the wayside. It's now been almost a month since I've got you guys an update. So I wanna make sure that I'm providing you, you know, that real step-by-step -step feel for what the course is like. So again, still in the first uh, first course section, I'm definitely gonna be giving you guys more updates on this section. Next one is gonna be coming out next weekend. And I really hope you guys got something out of this. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button, comment below, letting me know what you liked about this video, what you agreed with, what you didn't, what you'd like to see in future videos. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified anytime that I come out with a launch school update or a video on any other topic. And as always, thank you guys for watching.